the combo of Gigi Jackson and Scotty Pippen Jr. is the reason why the Grizzlies are in the position they're in. Um, Jason March went as far as saying that Scotty Pippen Jr. is the best player in Summer League and that he should be Summer League MVP. He had a triple double in yesterday's game. Uh, we've seen what he's done on the defensive end, what he's been able to do in terms of leading this offense. Some of the passes he's made have been just spectacular. And he has looked a level different. And that's what you want from guys. Like, do they look different than other players at Summer League? Do they look a step above? And that's what Scotty's been. That has certainly been what Gigi Jackson's been. And if you think about how he has um, evolved this summer, just from the first game back in Salt Lake City, where I think he was 0 of 9 from 3, and some of the shot selection was a little sketch along the way. And now I thought he took really good shots yesterday. I thought it was one of his best, like, getting to his spot games that we've seen in Summer League, what he's done defensively. And that's something that this coaching staff has really challenged him uh, to be more aggressive on ball defense pick up guys earlier, stay with his guys, and you saw that for sure. The other player that stood out was Jalen Wells, who kind of – its like he, he had slipped through the attention cracks. That's what I'll call it, which doesn't mean that he was playing bad. He just hadn't had a standout game. Yesterday was the most of the standout. I thought his game against the New Orleans Pelicans was a really nice game as well where it started – really clicking for him. He had 28 points. He was six of seven from three. And the thing that stood out to me is he has a really smooth shot. You want shooters and you now look like you potentially have another one in Jalen Wells. And we got the Zaire Williams news officially over the weekend and that the Grizzlies uh, traded Zaire Williams to the Brooklyn Nets. And we can get into the details of that, but you want to find more shooters through the draft. And it looks like you might've found one in the second round with Jalen Wells coming out of Washington State, uh, you just see him growing. And from the first time I watched him on Wednesday, when I first got into Vegas in their game against the Magic, he looked a little timid um, and looked uh, like he had lacked some confidence. And even seeing that from the Wednesday game to the Thursday game, he started to play with a smile on his face. He started to have a little oomph to it all. I talked to him after that game. He said he was just getting more and more comfortable. And then by last night, you were yesterday afternoon, you have a 28-point performance, and he's one of the key reasons that the Grizzlies were able to beat the Clippers. So from an individual goal standpoint, I feel like the Grizzlies, from their main guys, and and some of the ancillary ones too, like Geeky's played well, Isaiah Miller has continued to play well, um, but those main draft picks in Cam Spencer, Zach Eady, Jalen Wells, and then Scotty Pippen Jr., Trey Jemison, and Gigi Jackson – all those individual goals were met, which is why you now have the team goal of winning, playing winning basketball, and you're playing for a championship. Oh, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And, um, no, everybody knows my stance on Summer League, but I want to reiterate that if you're in Summer League and you're supposed to be an NBA player, you look like you don't belong in Summer League. And the Grizzlies have, you name the four, that look like they don't belong in Summer League. And I think that when you think about Jemison, you think about Scottie Pippen Jr., throw uh, Gigi in there as well. I think this is a testament to this front office really like working the weeds on some of these type of player acquisitions. You know, Gigi comes out, uh, goes into South Carolina, pretty heralded as a recruit. Things don't go his way. He falls all the way to the second round. And they're like, no, we can, everybody knows there's something there with this. We can use this, though. We can get this. We can get the most out of this. Let's take a flyer on it and see what we got. And then with all of the injuries, you bring Gigi up, and he's made the most of his opportunities. All of the injuries led to you being able to go out there and acquire two really good G League players, right? Like, the Scottie Pippen signing was because of all the injuries, if I'm not mistaken. The Jimison signing was because of yeah. all the, the injuries that, that the team sort of sustained, not sort of sustained, sustained during last year's run. I feel like bad front offices look at last season, look at this roster, look at last season and say, ah, we don't need to do anything on the fringes. Once everybody gets healthy, we're good to go. And what this front office did was, hey, once everybody gets healthy, we'll be good to go. But if you're telling me I can get a G League leader in assists, which I'm pretty sure Scottie Pippen was when Mm -hmm. they signed him, or you're telling me I can get one of the best big men in the G League to come over and play on my team because by using some of these injury exceptions to go out there and acquire them, then that's that's what we're going to do. And then we'll see where the chips fall 
later on. And all it's done with these players, potentially, potentially with those three, is allowed you more flexibility in your roster construction. You don't have to be able to go out there and land one of the bigger name free agents. You don't have to say, all right, we need we need somebody who can create a shot for themselves. We need somebody who's tenacious on the defensive end at the point guard spot. We got to find a, a fourth or a fifth big, right? You've got that now. So you're not as desperate and you're not willing to overpay near as much or over trade or give up too much in a trade to try and acquire um, somebody to fit one of those roles because you kind of feel like you have that on your roster right now. You certainly feel like yeah. you have it on your roster right now as it pertains to Gigi. With the other two, they've done enough in summer league and during, towards the end of last season for you to say, oh, let's give this person a legitimate look and see what they've got coming down the line. The Jessica Benson Show with C.J. Hurt, live every weekday at 8 a.m.